Hi, I am Misna. I have completed my four years BSc Optometry from Rehan College, Adapal. And I completed my compulsory internship from Dr. Agarwal's Eye Hospital, Tidnalvili. Now, now, I am doing my fellowship in Strabismus Management from IOA. Now, I just want to do a demonstration of some test that I have done during my fellowship. This is, uh, that is a uh, cover test, Hishbert test and the pen push-up test. Then what is paint? It is a misalignment of visual axis. Okay, now we are going to do the test and this is, uh, this is my patient Famida and she is 23 years old. First, we are going to check her vision for that we have to upload her uh, right eye first. Then left eye. So here her both eyes are 6 by 6 vision. Now we can do Hishbert test for check cornea reflex test. The examiner shines a pen light on the eyes from a distance and observe the position of the light that reflects of the cornea. If there is no squint, the reflection will be at the cornea of the pupil. It's a screening test that can be used to access whether a person has strabismus or not. Now we are going to do pen push-up test for test convergence. For that, we need a pen and scale for the measurement in this test. We have to keep this pen in front of the eye in one arm distance and tell the patient to concentrate on the tip of the pen. Then move the pen towards his face slowly. In one specific point, the pen will seem doubled. In that, we need to stop and go backward the need to test that whether the point is clear. Then need to measure that point. The normal convergence is 10 to 12 cm. She has NPC at 15 cm. So she has convergence insufficiency. So this is how we per, uh, perform this test. Okay. Uh, next uh, we are going to demonstrate cover uncover test or alternate cover test. The test uh, done by using an opaque or translucent occluder to cover one side. The occluder is held in front of the eye for a few seconds and then removed. When the fixing eye is occluded, the examined will observe the non-occluded eye move to pick up fixation of uh, if a tropia is present. If no tropia is present, the non-occluded eye will remain stationary. If Aphoria is present, the uncovered eye does not move. However, the eye that is behind the occluder will deviate and return to a straight position when the occluder is removed. Then, uh, the alternate uh, cover test is most dissociate cover test and measure a total deviation, including the tropic plus foic latens component. For this test, occlude one eye and then other. Switching the occluder back and forth between eyes when uh, performing alternate cover test. It is important to hold the occluder over each eye for at least a few seconds in order to allow the non-occluded eye enough time to pick up fixation. If uh, there is no movement was seen on the unilateral cover test but movement is noted on the alternating test, the patient has a phoria. Uh, this is uh, our uh, demonstration sections. Uh, so, uh, thank you.